one kilogram. This is more of the size we're used to seeing, before all the big ones were hunted out. Whoa, walks pretty slow for a creature with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight legs. Well, he does have to carry that big tail. Whoa! How do you do that? Got it. The big tail flicks and the lobster shoots backwards. That big tail is full of muscles that flex and sweep the water forward that pushes the lobster backwards for a quick getaway. That is so cool. Powerful tail muscles contract, causing the fan-like tail to push water forward, instantly propelling the lobster backwards through the water. Fantastico! On it! I'm not interested in any witty-bitty lobster that would fit into those twats. <laughs> I'm looking for the last, largest lobster. Another one, same size. And neither one is gonna back down. <laughs> and I think we're gonna find out how they use their claws. The squeeze of a lobster is so powerful. If our hands were that strong, we could crush a walnut with just a squeeze. But why are the two claws different? One sleek and thin, one big and bulky. The big one, the crusher. That is used for crushing things. Well, the little one, the pincher, is used for ripping and tearing. Claws, claws, and more claws. I didn't know a lobster was so strong. A regular muscle head. <laughs> Finished. Coming at you, Jimmy. And teleport. Yes, a lobster power disc. <gasps> hey. Give me that. You're strong <laughs> and stubborn. What am I gonna call you? Hmm. Uh, I want to activate a creature power over here. <laughs> I'll name you Red Crush. See, he just wanted a name. <laughs> I think that's called a coincidence. You just don't understand the mind of a lobster. Okay, well here's something you'll understand. It's time to activate creature powers. <laughs> The tail, ready to rock it backwards. The claws, whoa, really strong. Thanks. <laughs> hey. Don't worry, Martin. I'll get that disc back. Activate Golden Snubnose Monkey Power. Well, that's a mouthful. <laughs> I feel warm, lean, and strong, and ready to climb. Oh, sure, rub it in. Oh. <laughs> Get back here with that disc, Blue Goggle. <laughs> Not so fast, buddy. <laughs> Whoa! 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 I got you, Chris. Hang in there, brother. the lab every now and then and take a break. Chris? Aviva? Hang on, buddy. 
Oh, it's busted. It's smashed! Mine's gone! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Don't worry, Blue Goggle. I'll help you find your troop, but it's so cold. I need your cold weather monkey powers first. Uh-oh. My creature power vest took a beating, too. But I gotta try it anyway. Let's hope it works, Blue Goggle. Activate Golden Snub-Nosed Monkey Power! Wings are for lift. Tail moves like a rudder. Quick wing flaps to gain speed. Tuck wings for rocket speed. Spread wings. And tail to slow down and land right, right in, in front, front of us. us. Rose, that's not the purple Martin. It's not? No, it's not purple. It's black. But every other feature is screaming purple Martin. The face, the wings, the beak, the tail feathers. That's it. The feathers. I can explain this one with this. With a triangle? Yeah, Jimmy. It's a prism. Watch. Sunlight is made up of different colors. We can't see them, but when you shine a light through the prism, it's refracted, meaning it splits and you can see the colors, like a rainbow. Some bird feathers can do the same thing. When little or no light is reflected, it looks black. But if you move or more light hits the feathers, it's refracted and produces color. Whoa! That's pretty purplish. Hmm, I'm seeing a lot of blue in that purple. Well, if it's called a purple Martin, the suit has to be purple. Sorry, no blue or green today. Huh? Is she serious? Or uh, just kidding? <laughs> Listo! Oh, who cares? Let's just activate Purple Martin powers! Check out these wings. Yeah, this is one slick suit. And jet black. Where's the color? You're standing in the shade. Get in the sun. Yeah, let's refract some light on this Martin power suit. Oh, yeah. I'm green. A green Martin. Wait a minute. I'm green, and so I'm still Chris. I think. I'm blue. I don't believe it. This is even better than a purple Martin. I'm a blue Martin. Uh, I'm a green Martin? Okay, wait a second. I like the green part, but I'm not so sure about the Martin part. <laughs> Funny, bro. Any color Martins are awesome. Okay, being a Martin, this is going to be one confusing creature adventure. Purple Martin's on the move. Wait up, bro. Follow those Martins! To the hover bikes! Come on, Chris. Oh, I mean Green Martin. Oh boy, this is gonna be a tough creature adventure. Electric! Huh? I've got the answer to all our problems right here. Meet Voltage, the electric eel. Hi, Voltage! Aw, you're not exactly cute, but I'll pet you anyway. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why? He's called an electric eel for a reason. He packs 600 volts of electrical shocking power. That's five times as much as most wall sockets. What? Shocking, I know. But check it out. He's like a living battery. His head area is the positive charge, and his tail area is the negative charge. See? Electricity! Even when he's just swimming around using his low voltage energy, he can light up a light bulb. For real! Wow! Cookie's gotta see this! So you're telling me he can give off even more potential energy than a car battery? 50 times more than a car battery! A creature that has the voltage of lots of car batteries. Oh, I could kiss you. But I won't. That's enough to start up the Tortuga, right? That
That's a lot of voltage. But the Tortuga is a huge ship and needs massive battery power to start up. Voltage just can't release enough power fast enough to replace this huge battery. It won't work. Hmm. Uh. Sorry. I got it. <laughs> voltage may not have enough power to start up the Tortuga, but he surely has enough power to run my mobile invention kit, right? He should have enough for that. Great. So, if we get this going, I can design electric eel power suits. Together, Chris and Martin just might be able to generate enough power to start the Tortuga. Good thinking, Aviva. Let's do it. Okay, the terminals are in place. Start it up, Aviva. Wait, we need Voltage to unleash his full electricity power. His high voltage hunting power. Wow. The Fishmobile. Hopefully, he'll think it's a real fish and zap it. Ready? Ready! Oh, please work! And here goes! Aviva, now! It worked! It's on! Woohoo! I'm back in invention action! Sorry, Voltage, it's not a real fish. But you did it! We owe you one, buddy. 